Today, we're going to show you four different ways to charge your Battery Evo Walrus home battery backup system. Each method has its own advantages depending on your setup and situation, and each one connects a little differently. Before you start, let's go over connecting your Walrus to your home. To use your Walrus to power your home, you'll need a sub-panel with a generator port that's separate from your main grid connection. This is a simple and affordable installation that most electricians can handle, but if you're a DIYer, we've linked a step-by-step -step walkthrough in the description. Once that's installed, run a 50 amp extension cable from the AC out port on your Walrus to your generator port. Now, you can use your sub-panel to decide what's getting powered off-grid, whether that's your whole home or just essential circuits like lights, fridge, and HVAC. Now that we've got that out of the way, Let's go over the four most common methods to charge your Walrus. One, off-grid solar. Plug your solar array directly into the MPPT PV input on your Walrus. To get the most out of solar, position your panels for maximum sun exposure, and if you live in a cloudy area, consider adding more panel capacity to make the most of daylight hours. Two, grid tide charging. Run a 50 amp extension cable from a dedicated breaker on your electric panel to the AC import on your Walrus. This lets you charge your Walrus directly from the grid, even if you don't have solar panels installed. This is useful for peak shaving, charging during off-peak hours when electricity is cheaper, and using stored power during peak rates to lower your bill. For more information on that, check out our time of use guide on our YouTube channel. Three combination charging between grid and solar. You can charge with grid and solar at the same time for a faster recharge. This can also be extremely useful if you don't have enough solar capacity to fully recharge every day or are experiencing low sun periods. Four, gas generator. Plug your gas generator into the AC import on your Walrus. Some generators, like the one we used here at our manufacturing office, may need an adapter. For example, we used a 30 amp to 50 amp adapter to make ours work. Always check your generator specs before plugging anything in. In an emergency, charging your Walrus with a generator is more fuel efficient than running your entire home directly off the generator. The Walrus can store energy, letting you turn the generator off and use that stored power, saving your fuel and reducing noise. And that's it. Four reliable ways to keep your Battery Evo Walrus charged and ready for anything. Whether you're living off-grid, preparing for emergencies, or just looking to save on your energy bill, there's a charging method for you. For more, check us out at BatteryEvo.com.